As I was considering this video, I was thinking about the title How to blow up the kitchen together Blow up the kitchen with me <laughs> But if I set aside the joke, I needed a simplified step-by-step -step plan how to make So I will share this with you, so you can make it too For the shake of simplicity, I only choose two kinds of oils and I am going to mix them. What can go wrong, right? <laughs> I kept simple the recipe, but I didn't keep simple the coloring. I started to get creative ideas. <laughs> uh, guys, don't do like what I did. <laughs> I actually started to go on, down on the rabbit hole and I have to do more research on that. But also, it's just the time that I spent on choosing the color. That's where the things started to go south. Another mistake that I did with this first batch, I didn't match the temperatures. So if you're going to make this soap, make sure you match the temperature of the lye mixture and the oils. I skipped that one because I read, oh, you don't have to worry about that. It turns out, yes, you have to. <laughs> At least in my case, with my recipe, um, that was an issue. When the soap mixture is done, you can see it's called the trace. When you put the spoon in there and you can see what is left behind. But here is where my issue started. The oil was too cold and I wasted so much time with the colors <laughs> to choose them. It was already too late to mix them and I ended up with this. And top of that, this beautiful blue color turned into a mold color. There's a lot of chemistry behind making a soap. No time for color mixing, so I just put the powder into the mold. It was already too late. <laughs> it started to firm up and I started to push it in there. So that would be the cold press soap, but I thought maybe I can save it if I make the warm press one when you warm it up. You guys, it was all done here. No point of return from that. Tears are a proof of failure. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. To repair my mood, I turned to the flowers and this cute book marker that I'm already preparing for as a gift for my friends. It was so sweet. I think I can make a banner out of it or some kind of chime. I don't know. Millions of possibilities but I just really love this look with the flowers. If you want to create the same, I will leave the link down below in the description box. Here are the things that I'm going to do differently this time. I will keep it simple. I'm not going to worry about the camera angles. And then just keep it simple. Do a basic one and once I feel more comfortable, I can go into the coloring and the other fun part of the soap making. Mm. 
matching the temperatures of the lye, water and the oil. Once it's ready, I have to be very quick to put them into the mold and <laughs> I was so focused on to just putting them out, I didn't distribute them the smartest way, <laughs> but it's okay. And also I think I'm going to buy a mold uh, that is a one piece and I can slice them and I will have a nicer result. Okay, that second one wasn't that bad. I think I'm going to try new ones. <laughs> I really enjoyed it and I'm going to have some elderberry flower tea. That's one of my favorite. I had some dried out bread that I soaked in some almond milk. I added some vanilla flavor and maple syrup, some eggs. I mixed that together and that's what I baked and that's what I'm going to have as a snack. And since I'm already sitting at this table where I usually do the craft and I have everything out, wow, I left everything out. <laughs> I'm going to continue with the bookmarkers. You might see flowers, I see Christmas presents. <laughs> this is actually the prime time to collect all those nice things that can help me to create some presents and gifts over the winter, so it's time to gather them. There are going to be projects where I'm going to need some dried flowers but not the flat one, it's more like the 3D version and for that I'm going to use some silica. Silica is made from glass, beach sand, silicone and granite. What makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of? I wonder. The whole reason I bought these plants because I don't have to dry the flowers. For the next project I choose the product that was a non-toxic one but just to keep it safe I did it by the door and I opened that so make sure if you do this you can do it outside or by the window or wear a mask and I'm going to use a uh, resin and then oh guys this is a whole new rabbit hole to go down <laughs> and I think I'm going to choose to make a smaller things from that like a little jewelry or something as for gifts for Christmas but as for a trial I had to try a bigger piece as well it's time to make some uh, soup <laughs> and I'm going to use lots of onions some bone broth powder and a little bit of water and salt I mixed that with a hand mixer and I'm going to add some dill and I cooked some 
fish it's called a cod in some salty water and that's what I put on the top and it tasted kind of sweet yet salty uh, it's got all the right flavors <laughs> this is one of my favorite There's so much potential when you have a skill to create things and that's what I'm aiming for. One day, maybe I can create simple things like this one. <laughs> I wanna learn from Joat. But as easy as it seems, <laughs> nothing is like that. Oh man, that is so much work. Yes, I'm like. És az a lényeg, hogy úgy fúrjad, hogy ne nyomjad egyáltalán, hanem csak pörög a maxon, megmutatod meg. I saw this flower press on Amazon and it was $56, so that's how much we saved. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to research like in a week or so. <laughs> or I can put the pot, pot on the top. Yeah, or like a cutting board. Yeah, for raw meat. Exactly. Yeah. back to my comfort zone that would be the kitchen and now I'm thinking back that was out of my comfort zone as well I remember when I started out um, when I got married I had no idea how long an egg can last in the refrigerator or how to cut a meat properly I knew nothing <laughs> and once I learned all those then I had to figure out the gluten and dairy free cooking and baking um, and then I feel comfortable now with that so everything as it seems at the first time it's very very challenging but it's not necessarily the task that is hard it's just hard for us because it's new so I'm trying to keep that perspective when I'm trying new things that eventually I will get more friendly and I will warm up more to the things that I want to try and now I'm just mixing all the leftover cashews and I'm going to measure them out it's the same goes with the bread I just measured them out so I don't have to wake up the whole family the next morning <laughs> when I want to make that but it's also very convenient that it's already measured out Measuring out the dry ingredients for the bread making is something I highly recommend. I really like to use that method, but also it uh, it is very helpful that my boys can make the bread easier as well. So this is something that my older son made. And now I'm just going to slice it.
it's time to see the results and I'm very happy with that there's so many things that I want to fine-tune with these this was just a trial and definitely I highly recommend even though it says it's non-toxic make sure you open the windows or you can do it outside but I have lots of plans what I can make with these some quinoa and whatever vegetable leftover we had in the refrigerator I just chopped them up and I added some kale from the garden and of course some flowers that are edible and these blueberry scones are gluten free and dairy free so I will leave the recipe down below in the description box The soaps are looking very promising, but as I said, I'm going to use a big mold instead of the little ones. I think these little ones work better with the pre-made soap base that I can just melt. I checked on the flower press as well, make sure it doesn't have a mold. I have to change the paper and replace them. And I'm going to reuse those papers and just switching them to the dry one. While I was trying these new projects indoor, Joat was working on the outside. Love strong, just like a love song. Baby, it's haunting me. Don't know what you're thinking. It's like I'm sinking deep underwater. Maybe it's harder, harder, harder for me. Oh, harder for me. Maybe we're over it. Or maybe just lovers, cause I'm in the cover. Jot has created this cute gate at the end of this deck, and that will serve as a purpose of privacy and then just have a better and nicer view while we're cleaning up that part of our property. Well, that was it for this week. I really hope you, that you enjoyed this video, and if so, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!